guys welcome back to my channel uh, yes you have read the title right uh, I have lost around six kgs within six weeks now I don't know whether it is a lot or a lot less but what I do know is that I'm very happy about it because I was not able to get rid of a single uh, kg a single pound within the past few months and after I changed my routine I did a few things that I'm going to share with you today I was actually able to shed off that weight uh, which it makes me extremely happy trust me uh, uh, I will also, these ways also do not ask you uh, to do any kind of hardcore exercise because a lot of us don't have time and don't, don't have the strength to do hardcore exercises. I mean, the only exercise I do is house chores <laughs> and those are a lot for me anyway. So I can understand more, what most women go through, especially who are housewives so or homemakers. Uh, so there are a th few things that I did and I began at a slow pace. So if you heard about the phrase slow and steady wins the race, I would ask you to do the same and not do all of these three things together because they might have uh, adverse effects on your health. So it is better to start slow and steady and then reach your goal. Okay. So the first thing I did was I stopped consuming tea uh, because I had this habit of consuming tea with a lot of sugar. I cannot drink bitter tea, bitter tea, sugarless tea at all. So along with that, I ate uh, white bread and that was uh, with, with a layer of uh, jelly or jam, strawberry or apple jelly or jam. And I would not consume less than two to three slices with sweet tea. And that was bre my breakfast, daily breakfast. So I gave up on that these three things completely uh, during Ramadan this year. And after I gave up on these, I switched to whole wheat bread and an egg, half fried egg. I mean, I, I'm not really fond of omelet or boiled egg, so I go for a half fried one uh, with two slices of whole wheat bread. And this is actually, uh, that was actually a very big step for me, a very big jump for me personally. So that's what I have for breakfast uh, up till, until na uh, till now. And uh, after that, I learned about apple cider vinegar uh, after watching a few videos on YouTube and I started, I thought of giving it a try because it is known to, to support weight loss. I did try apple cider vinegar and within the first seven days I noticed that it was reducing my hunger cravings. It was cutting down on my cravings. Uh, whenever I had apple cider vinegar it was okay for me to not eat for another two or three hours and that was actually very very helpful. So I started consuming apple cider vinegar first thing in the, first thing in the morning after my, taking my thyroid, thyroid medication. Uh, I took it after an hour and then I did not eat or drink anything after another hour of uh, taking apple cider vinegar. So you take the vinegar and then you don't eat anything for an hour and then you have your breakfast. That's how it goes. So that's what I did. Uh, apple cider vinegar, yes, it does reduce hunger cravings. I am my, I speak with personal experience, but there is no evidence of apple cider vinegar um, triggering weight loss by burning fat. So don't don't have that idea because it does not burn fat. There is no scientific proof of that. But yes, uh, apple cider vinegar does reduce your cholesterol levels. It does reduce your glucose levels. And these are some of the main reasons I am still consuming it to this day. And I use the one with the, the mother. Uh, that's the one recommended by, by everyone, almost everyone out on YouTube. And the brand I, I believe you must know is Bragg's apple cider vinegar with the mother. I will still put a link down below if you want to purchase it. So... Um, after that, uh, what I did was I started consuming a tea uh, that I saw in a video on YouTube. There was, I don't remember the name of the lady, but I do have her video in my playlist and I will share the link with you because a lot of credit goes to her. She created this uh, spice tea which, which burns belly fat and it has burned fat around my area. And I was actually very surprised to how that tea not only burns fat, but it also, as a plus point, reduces hunger cra hunger and cravings. So that was another plus point, and I do consume this tea to this day. The third thing after I did was I started off, uh, I started intermittent fasting. 
Now, intermittent fasting can be done in a lot of ways. There are a lot of routines that you can follow, but the one that I went for and I think most people go for is the eight hour window, which means you will have to eat everything between an eight hour time. So I decided to keep my window from 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. because that way I will, of course, skip breakfast, but then uh, I can have lunch and dinner. I didn't want to start very early because if I start by 8 o'clock in the morning, I'd be done by 4, and then I would have, you know, a lot of time, a lot of time to spare, and that was just not uh, good for me. So now what I do is I take my thyroid medication in the morning, and at around 11 a.m., I put my tea on the stove to you know boil up because it takes time to prepare. So once that is ready, I try to con finish it off, consume it by 12 p.m. So when I'm done with the tea, I give it a one hour break because that is necessary. You're supposed to do that after you drink the tea. So by 1 p.m. I have my breakfast, which is a half fried egg with two slices of whole wheat bread. Sometimes, yes, I do cheat because with this routine, you can cheat a little bit. You can have a cookie or maybe a, you know, maybe a piece of cake rusk. I mean, I do cheat at times. <laughs> so, uh, and after an hour or two, I take milk, uh, but I add some dry fruit to the milk and a little bit of sorbet. A little bit of sweet sorbet because I cannot drink milk on its own. I'm sorry, I know I cheat a little, little, but but that's okay. I mean, it's it's not that bad. <laughs> so and then um, uh, in the evening I have my proper dinner, but I have it usually by 7 p.m. and that's it because I cannot eat anything after 8 a 8 p.m. Uh, all the only thing I have I can drink is water. So how I set this routine for me is that. Uh, uh, I drag consume the tea by 12 p.m. I'll repeat this for you. Consume the tea by 12 p.m. Have breakfast at 1 p.m. And then eat very little or no sweets during the day. And have proper dinner by 7 p.m. in the evening. And after 8 p.m. I do not consume anything at all. Nothing edible. But yes, what I do is I shifted my apple cider vinegar to night time. Now, because apple cider vinegar has zero calories, so you're basically not eating or drinking anything as far as as far as the calories goes, calories go. Um, before I go to bed, an hour or two before I go to bed, I consume apple cider vinegar at night. So this is my proper routine. Now, I have been following this for more than uh, I think more than a month because uh, and it has worked for me. And this is how uh, when I check my weight at first. Then I checked my weight after two weeks, so I had lost two kgs. And then I checked my weight after an entire month, so I had lost four kgs more. And it was a miracle because I was not able to get rid of all that excess fat, all that weight by exercising. But this routine has helped me a lot because you cut down on your sweets, you cut down on the junk food for an entire week. But here's the best thing. Well, you have one cheat day. I, as I have one cheat day, I eat out on Sundays, so if I want to consume junk food, I do it on Sundays. And on Saturday, uh, I keep things very casual. I don't uh, cook home food, but uh, if I do, I prepare, I, whatever I prepare it ha ha is uh, kind of a snack kind of a thing. So it's not like proper, you know, proper supper. And on Saturday, I also do have the uh, Tim Hortons ice cappuccino in the flavor mocha. I love it, love it, love it. <laughs> I cannot do without it. So I take that on Saturday and it consumes junk food on Sunday. So if you see it, this routine actually allows you to eat what you like. And all you have to do is cut down, cut down. I mean, I don't say completely stop, but cut down on the sweets and chocolates and, you know, junk food during the five week or during the first, uh, say, during the six days of the week. And then on Sunday, you have the privilege of uh, consuming junk food. So this is my entire routine. Uh, I hope that uh, this routine will help you guys if you want to follow it. And I will put the necessary links uh, about regarding things that I have talked about in this video in the description box. Uh, please do tell me, tell me in the comments below if you've been following this routine or how have some of these things worked for you. And uh, yeah, but, uh, last but not least, do please like the video, uh, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for more content ahead. And I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.